Hey, Chad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncreate the Alpine Stars Tech Threes. Before we jump in and do the deep dive on the Alpine Star Tech Threes, go ahead and subscribe. That helps keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide you'd like to purchase a beautiful set of Alpine Star Tech Threes from Speed Addicts, we would appreciate that. There's a link in the description below to get over there and shop for. Alpine Star Boots or any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. So Alpine Star started the legend by making boots in Italy in the 1960s. So if my math's correct, that's about six days, uh, six decades of boot making experience. So they know what they're doing when it comes to off-road or motocross style boots. The top three boots from Alpine Stars would be the Tech 3s, the Tech 7 and Tech 10s. They have a few other models slotted in between those for different types of riders, but really that's the meat of the situation here. So the Tech 3s, as the number would denote, are their entry level boot. These are running 209 for the standard Tech 3s or 224 for the Enduro Tech 3s. The Enduro Tech 3s have an Enduro sole, so you get a little waffle instead of the standard motocross style, uh, more slippery sole right there. So if you're riding Enduro or off road, uh, you know, more jagged trails, stuff like that. You want to be able to dab that foot and get a little bit more traction, whereas this is more of a motocross style sole. Otherwise, the Tech 3 and Tech 3 Enduros are identical. So you're going to pay a little bit more for that Enduro sole, but the rest of the features as we show them to you are the same. Now, these boots weigh three pounds and four ounces. And up until recently, we really didn't sell many Tech 3s, but then inflation hit. So a lot of folks that would buy a more entry level price boot would go to Fly or, or O'Neill and grab a boot for $100. Those days are over with. Those price point boots have come up to 150 plus, creeping towards 170 in some cases. It makes it a pretty easy sell for a few extra dollars. You can get an Alpine Stars boot and why, why not, right? This is the gold standard in boots these days and since when they started. So with the standard Tech 3s, you're gonna get sizes from five to 16. So huge size range, even if you got a big foot, you can get a set of Tech 3s. The Enduros is more limited, so the Enduro sole you can only get in size seven through 13. Go by the Alpine Star sizing chart at Speed Addicts. They run true to size. They're typically wide enough for most American feet. They do not have half sizes though. So I usually recommend rounding down. So if you're usually a 12 and a half, I'd go with 12s. If anything, they run just a touch big. Unless you're running some sort of really thick sock, you should be fine rounding down. Remember, if you buy your next boot from Speed Addicts, not only will you outride your buddies next time you go out, but you get no cost returns. So if the boot doesn't fit, you just decide it's not for you. A couple clicks, you get a free return label from Speed Addicts. You can send these back, get a refund, get an exchange. Give us a try, we'll treat you like family. Enough with my shameless plugs onto the boots. Let's talk more about these Tech 3s. I'm gonna set the Enduros aside. Like I told you, besides the sole, these are the same boots. So boots these days have changed. These are not your grandfather's boots. You notice they are not the stamped sole styles. They used to have the big metal shank or the, uh, the big metal toe guard and they were bulky and they had that waffle sole. No more. These are all injection molded soles and the name of the game is keeping them light and compact so it's easier to get under the shift lever and work that rear brake. They're just much more ergonomical and closer fitting to your boot. When we talk about how we're gonna get into this unit, up here on the shim plate is your first buckle and it is a dual closure system with Velcro included here. The buckles are polymer fiberglass reinforced, so they are quite strong. If you manage to break them, don't worry, they sell those, they're replaceable. See a little screw here after you work one of those over. Same with the straps. To get more length on the strap, you're gonna pull it away from the boot and you can also push that back in if you wanna tighten them up before you, you strap them down. So we're gonna open these. Of course, they're quick release, pretty easy to get on and off. Okay, let's take a look at the inside of the Tech 3. So this is their mesh 3D liner, quite a comfortable place to be. It also has this gator that's gonna keep out moisture and dust. And uh, if you need, if water is a, a normal part of your ride, you're hitting a lot of streams, probably want to go with one of the Dry Star series boots. They don't make the Dry Star in the Tech 3. You'd have to step up to say the Tech 7. And Dry Star just means that they've sealed it up and treated it to be as water resistant as possible. So if, uh, if you're one of those water hogs going through stream crossings a lot, check those out. Okay, so that is the interior of the boot. And also the thing you can't see is the insole. 
The Tech 3 insoles out of the box are quite good, but if you have a specific insole, something with more arch support that you like to ride, you can put that in. They are removable, replaceable. Now that we have the Tech 3 buckled up again, let's talk about the armor. So the armor plates are made from TPU. That's a cool acronym that stands for thermoplastic polyurethane. So that's somewhere between a rubber and a plastic, which means it's gonna have some give, but it's still gonna be durable and take those impacts should you encounter any, uh, any uh, objects that don't wanna move out of your way. So you have that shin plate, you have some more um, on the back. But it's not extensive armoring in the back. You can see there's quite a few uh, accordion patches. This is going to allow you to work the boot forward. You have the accordion flex also in the front on your instep so things don't bind up. On the inside of the shoe or the boot, you have a biomechanical medial blade system. So this lower piece has a blade up into the upper piece. This is going to protect your ankle, but it's still going to allow your foot to move. That is the name of the game in boots because Ankle protection is really what it's all about. So how can we protect your ankle without totally restricting your mobility? And this is Alpine Star's answer on the Tech 3. It's that blade system. All right, let's flip these over and talk about where the rubber meets the road. So there's a lot of technology built into the bottom of your Tech 3s. Behind, this is the tread and sole foot peg insert. This all will peel off if you heat it up. It's all totally replaceable. Once you have that off, what you're left with is the base of this boot, which is a dual compound shell that's co-injected with a steel shank running through the middle of it. The steel shank's important because it distributes the weight over the whole boot instead of right where that foot peg's hitting. If you ever try to ride a dirt bike with tennis shoes on for a little bit, you stand up for a few minutes, you're gonna be in bad shape. The steel shank helps deal with that. The toe box is nice and hard. Now, when it comes to the sole, the whole sole can be removed and replaced as well as this foot peg insert. Most people usually wear this out first and we'll just replace that. You take a heat gun, you slap on the replacement with adhesive, and you've got tons more miles ready for service in the Tech 3s. It's a real nice feature considering this is a $200-ish boot. You're going to replace the whole sole. I mean, you'll get years out of these. Alpine Stars does have a one-year warranty to protect you from any manufacturer defects that you could run into. And that does it here for the Tech 3. If you still got questions, don't worry. Rider support standing by at speedx.com through email, live chat, and phone support. Or just drop your questions, comments. You have a set of these. Let us know how you like them down in the comment section below. Appreciate you all for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.